Hey, what's up guys? So there's a problem that affects a lot of people and this is due to sitting a lot and that is anterior pelvic tilt and that's when your pelvis tilts forward. This is due to weak abs, weak glutes and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So anterior pelvic tilt is when it creates the arch in your back due to your pelvis tilting forward and this is due to weak abs, weak glutes and you need to rotate everything back to take that pressure off of your lower back. So sitting too much creates this tilt and it really doesn't help your spine at all. So if I lay on the floor here, I'll demonstrate. The anterior pelvic tilt causes an arch in your back and that places that extra strain on your whole body because your whole pelvis needs to tilt back into a neutral position. So when I tilt it back, as you can see, there's no gap anymore and now my back is flat. So that tiny tilt in the pelvis causes quite a huge arch and weak glutes and weak abs really don't help you because it causes more of this tilt. So lifting your glutes off the floor, squeezing and tilting your pelvis in the correct position, tilting it back, keeping your abs tight, this will cause your pelvis to retain that normal natural motion and alignment. So that's one exercise you can do to strengthen your glutes, strengthen your abs and practice keeping your pelvis tilted in the correct position to take the pressure off of your spine. So the next thing we can do is almost like a lunge position and this stretches the hip flexors because the tighter the hip flexors the more anterior tilt you'll have. So you might feel that your hamstrings are very tight and this could just be due to the anterior pelvic tilt. So what you want to do is take a step forward into a lunge position, keep a little bend in your leg and almost push your hip toward the floor. So you, you're going forward and down, like at a 45 degree angle. So you're pushing forward and that just opens up the hip flexors, really stretches them, and over time it will lengthen them and take that pressure off. Doing the other side, take a step forward, just remember to step quite far back, and then just keep a bend in your leg. And you'll actually feel the front of your hip where the hip flexors sit, they'll just lengthen and it will feel a lot looser when you're done. Okay, and then there's one last thing you can do for hip flexors. This one is pretty intense. You're gonna need a wall. You start off by putting your one leg flat against the wall, your knee right in the corner, and with your other leg, you slide forward. And from here, you wanna push down into the ground. And as you push forward into the ground, you're gonna feel your hip flexors opening up. You're gonna feel them pulling and lengthening. And as you get better and better at this, you can get to a point where you can actually put your one leg up at a 90 degree angle and you'll feel how intense that stretch is and you can get to a point where you can actually sit straight up while in this position. So I am definitely not there yet. Still working on my flexibility on my hip flexors, but uh, work your way up. You'll see the more that you do these stretches, the better you'll get every single time that you do it. You'll feel a lot better. And the anterior pelvic tilt will diminish and you'll get better posture and you'll get less pressure on your lower back. And generally you'll feel a lot better. So give us a try and I hope this helps you.